At its inception, America was a nation of immigrants and refugees. The same is true today. Every generation of new Americans has come from challenging and dangerous circumstances to try to make a new life in a new land. The same is true today. America has always been a land of opportunity where people offer help and hope to those who arrive on our shores. The same is true today. Imagine, if you will, facing the trauma caused by war, poverty, or disease. Then facing the pain of leaving your home country where the customs and languages are familiar and loved. Then facing the obstacles of a land where everything is new, different, and difficult. Then imagine doing all of this as a senior citizen. That is the focus of Project SHINE. SHINE stands for Students Helping in the Naturalization of Elders. Project SHINE was launched in 1997 by Temple University and is supported by funding from the Corporation for National Community Service and the John S. and James L. Knight Foundation. It is now a nationwide initiative working with 18 colleges and universities in nine different states. This semester we had 57 students involved in SHINE between Emory and GPC. And from the best counts that I have so far, we served over 400 learners. Project Shine was started in Atlanta through the joint efforts of Emory University and Georgia Perimeter College. Shine provides college students with the opportunity to tutor older immigrants and refugees in a variety of English and citizenship classes around Atlanta. Project Shine has three interlocking goals, to naturalize elders, build partnerships, and engage scholarship. Naturalizing elders is a critical issue. Older immigrants and refugees often face unique cultural, physical, and educational challenges that can prevent them from joining American society and obtaining their citizenship. Back in Somalia, there's war. There's a lot of difficulties for people like me. And then I came to America where they help people, they help me, they give me edu free education. They are still deeply immersed in their home cultures. They may have difficulty seeing or hearing and may never have spent a day in school. And yet now they're expected to learn English and American history in order to pass the citizenship exam. Many older immigrants yearn to become fully functioning citizens, and if they don't, they face the loss of critical government benefits. The students are very patient with me and uh, they help me because it's kind of hard for me to learn something new right now because I'm kind of older and uh, they're very patient and they repeat what the teacher has said and they take their time doing it. So I understand better. Project Shine helps Emory to build beneficial partnerships with a variety of community organizations that work with refugees and immigrants in the Atlanta area, such as the Clarkston Community Center and DeKalb Technical College. The SHINE program is very important because it gives our learners the chance to have uh, attention, a one-to-one -one attention. It's really a luxury that any learner could have because they have one person working with them as opposed to one teacher working with 20 students. This partnership benefits those agencies by providing additional resources and insight. It also provides Emory with the opportunity to contribute to Atlanta's growing international population and ultimately benefits the welfare of the city as a whole. Finally, through Project Shine, Emory's present and future scholars can engage in real issues within our community. And the more I tutored, the more I got to know the students and they in turn were willing to share with me um, various experiences that they've had both here in the United States and in their home countries. And we became friends and uh, we established a comfort zone such that they were able to talk to me and could ask me questions anything about English grammar to going out at night in the United States and wh what's popular to go to. Professors can carry out beneficial research projects so that students not only acquire knowledge but learn how to apply that knowledge ethically to a range of critical moral and civic issues. It's a responsibility because people are looking up to you and they are just looking at every word that comes out of your mouth because they want to learn. 
and they're so excited that you are the one to teach them. Project Shine connects the faculty, students, and resources of Emory with the real situations that older immigrants and refugees face. This gives us the invaluable opportunity to naturalize elders, build partnerships, and engage scholarship, which are the goals of Project Shine. When they came, they were nervous. They did not know what to expect because of the different culture and different language, but they all gained something out of this. So it's a win-win situation for both parties. 